Greetings one and all, this is Rhythm Works and welcome to my channel with a pre-order style video. Now, um, it's coming two parts. The first part relates to Uncharted 4. Now, in previous videos, you probably known by now that Uncharted 4 is one of my most highly anticipated games and I've done a lot of research into finding out which edition for me personally is the best one to buy. And I decided to um, pre-order the digital deluxe edition simply because it has timed DLC included in the package. If you get the box standard vanilla game, if that's your thing, it won't have it. If you get the special edition online through Amazon and game, it won't have it. The digital edition on PlayStation 4 is the only place where you can get the timed DLC as extra. So that's what I've decided to do. One of my first full AAA digital titles that I have bought on this generation of the PlayStation. Now, for those who haven't got it yet, investigate, do the maths, see if that works for you. For those who've already pre-ordered the digital edition, you might have come across an issue. And the issue came in the form of a message through my notification. Now I'm gonna put up the notification for you to see. Important notification, Uncharted 4, which I received last Tuesday at 12 minutes past five. Now the message states, thank you for pre-ordering Uncharted 4 Deluxe Edition. You may receive an email indicating that your pre-order was cancelled. Please disregard this email. Your order is unaffected and remains valid. Now obviously I was kind of anxious when I got the email because you know Sony may say one thing and they you know and they mean another, they do another or they don't do anything and it gets jacked up in the process. I've seen many people on the forums complain about their pre-orders, their digital pre-orders, and that's why I've never gone into pre-ordering digitally until now. So I decided to basically investigate and see, you know, what are the parameters, what are the permutations of anything going wrong with my pre-order. So what I did, I went into my um, account, through sony.com forward slash sen and lo and behold it was cancelled but when i actually got into the site must have been the same day it wasn't cancelled so it was kind of delayed and when i actually got into the deluxe edition it told me that it wasn't available for purchase and when i pressed the tell me why button or tell me more button it stated that I already owned the Uncharted 4 Deluxe Edition. So I was really scratching my head, but it wasn't until yesterday when I went into the Deluxe Edition that the timer was reinstated. So it might work one day for some and another day for others, but this is more or less the, the end game in that whole situation. Once you see the countdown sign up, that means that your pre-order is still active. Um, it wasn't active before because like I said, it said not available, but now it's basically active. So that's Sony's way of telling me, yep, the order is still there. But the funny thing is, is that now I can't even cancel it if I want to, because going back into SCN, my order's already been cancelled, There's not, so there's no way of cancelling it again. So I can't pre-order the game again to cancel it, to cancel out this order that I have currently showing on the screen now. So in a way, I'm more or less stuck to it, which I don't mind. If there's any game that I'm more or less stuck to buying, it's this game, and it's this edition of the game. So I'm happy with that. Next up, a lot of people have been asking me about digital games and and getting betas by simply pre-ordering from digital games. And they feel kind of nervous and anxious feeling that if they pre-order, they're going to more or less be tied to a game that they don't want. I'm gonna show you exactly what you can do and how to cancel your pre-orders of a game once you finish playing a beta on the PS4, which is totally in your right. You're not robbing anybody, you know, because you do have a time to cool off after playing a beta. So here it is. First of all, you go into sony.com forward slash S-E-N, Sugar Echo November, right? Now, that stands for Sony Entertainment Network. And then what you do, you sign in your details on the top right-hand corner, you put your account details in there. Once you've done that, 
you will see a drop down menu and you need to click on account details. Once you've done that, your transaction history will come up. Obviously, I'm not going to show you my personal details. What do I look like an idiot? But there you'll see as part of the menu on the left hand side, you see the transaction history and it will show your details, your name, your address and what have you. Just to confirm who you are and your sign in ID. Right. So once you've done that, you'll see a drop down of games that you've purchased or themes that you've purchased or demos or betas that you've downloaded and they will all come up but in terms of pre-orders you will see a whole lot of pre-orders with the price of zero 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 on it so you have to kind of collate the date that you actually made the pre-order for the particular game or the particular game that you wanted to play the beta of and then click on it to find out if that's it it's kind of daunting because all the information that you will have most of them will be priced at zero pounds and zero pence so you just have to kind of just do the maths you know what i mean get total recall on that ship and then you will see a whole list once you click on the list you will see the game that you have downloaded right or pre-ordered it will give you an option to cancel which it will be in a blue box with white writing cancel cancel pre-order you click on that and this is what you will basically see now this is a poor example because Sony actually done the cancelling for me for some strange reason. But that is what you will see. So once you've done that, you don't, you don't have to think about, oh, whether or not Sony's going to take out money out of my account. They won't take no money out of your account. So that way you'll be able to play the beta of a game that you had to preload or pre-order to play. But now you've played it, you don't like it, you can cancel it, which is totally within your right within your consumer rights to do so okay so that is it well i hope this video helped you in one way or another or in both cases i hope that it basically sufficed for you to do what you need to do in relation to your pre-orders now and in future and it's with that i'm going to bid you guys an adieu for now and i will catch you on the next video as always thanks for watching thanks for stopping by and you done know the coup whatever the game media platform format happy gaming because that's what it's truly about ladies and gentlemen boys and girls brothers and sisters and until i catch you on the next one please stay blessed Megan.